An animal cell maintains internal ion concentrations that are high in potassium but low in sodium. On the outside of the cell, the concentrations are reversed, high sodium and low potassium. These concentration differences create electrochemical gradients across the membrane, which the cell can later tap for energy. A membrane protein, the sodium-potassium pump, keeps the ion gradients intact. The pump drives sodium out of the cell and brings back any potassium that's leaked out. Because these ions cannot spontaneously move against their concentration gradients, they must be pumped, a process that requires energy. In the first step of the cycle, three sodium ions and one ATP molecule bind to the pump. ATP releases energy into the pump as it splits into ADP and inorganic phosphate. Because this pump uses energy directly from ATP, the ion transport is categorized as primary active transport. After ATP splits into ADP and inorganic phosphate, the ADP is released. The release causes the pump to change shape and deliver the sodium ions to the opposite side of the membrane. At the same time, ion binding sites open up on the extracellular face of the pump. On the extracellular side of the membrane, the pump releases the three sodium ions and picks up two potassium ions. As the potassium ions bind, the pump releases its inorganic phosphate. The release causes the pump to again change shape and to deliver the potassium ions to the inside of the cell, completing the cycle.